heard of ketoconazole and its potential for hair growth, but are still wondering what the heck it is. In this video, we're diving into the science behind this little known ingredient and exploring whether it really lives up to the hype for combating hair loss. Get ready to uncover the truth. Hey friends, it's great to have you here. If you're someone who's dealing with hair loss, then you know just how frustrating and discouraging it can be. But the good news is you're not alone and there are solutions out there that can help. In this video, we're gonna dive deep into the topic of hair loss and explore one particular solution that's been shown to be effective, ketoconazole. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of what ketoconazole is how it works and whether it might be the right solution for you. So let's get started. My name is Iman and I suffer from hair loss and on this channel we talk about natural methods to combat hair loss. So if that is of interest, don't forget to subscribe. Before we dive into ketoconazole, let's first talk about the hair loss itself. There are several different types of hair loss that can affect both men and women. Mine is androgenetic alopecia, which is often referred to pattern baldness. Hair loss is often caused by stress, hormonal changes or certain medications. Regardless of the type of hair loss you're experiencing, it can be difficult to deal with. It's not just a cosmetic issue, it can impact your self-esteem and your mental health. That's why it's important to understand the causes and risk factors of hair loss, which can include genetics, hormonal changes, nutritional deficiencies, stress, and certain medical conditions. Early detection and treatment are key when it comes to hair loss, and the earlier you catch it, the easier it may be to address. That's why it's important to pay attention to any changes in your hair, such as thinning or shedding. One way to check this is to collect any hair shedding that you experience in the shower and compare it month on month and week on week. Now, let's talk about ketoconazole. Ketoconazole is an antifungal medication that has been shown to have potential hair growth benefits. Specifically, it works by inhibiting the production of DHT, which is a hormone that can contribute to hair loss in genetically susceptible individuals. There have been several clinical trials, you know me, I love a clinical trial, and scientific studies have been explored the relationship between ketoconazole and hair loss. While more research is needed, the results are promising. In one study, for example, people who used a ketoconazole-based shampoo experienced a significant increase in hair thickness and density after just six months of use. So so how does ketoconazole work? Well, DHT is produced when an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase converts testosterone into DHT. Ketoconazole works by inhibiting the activity of this enzyme, which can reduce the amount of DHT in the scalp. Reducing DHT levels, ketoconazole may be able to help prevent further hair loss and even promote new hair growth. DHT is a killer. <laughs> Now, before we get too technical, let's start with some basic tips to help you get the most out of your ketoconazole products. Firstly, make sure you're using the right concentration of ketoconazole for your hair loss needs. Some products contain lower concentrations of ketoconazole, which may not be as effective for more severe hair loss cases. I use Nizoral, which you can get from your pharmacy. This one has a 2% concentration. So secondly, be gentle with your hair when you're applying the product. It it means being gentle, massaging motion to work the product into your scalp and avoid any harsh scrubbing or tugging. Your hair follicles are delicate, so treat them with care. Thirdly, be consistent with your ketoconazole routine. Hair growth takes time and you won't see results overnight, but if you stick with it and use it once a week, you should start to see some improvement in your hair growth and overall hair health. Now, let's talk about how to actually use ketoconazole products. Whether you're using a shampoo, conditioner, or topical solution, the basic process is the same. So first, you wanna wet your hair thoroughly, and then apply the product to your scalp only focusing on the areas where you're experiencing hair loss. Make sure you don't get this product into your hair because it is quite stripping. Use a gentle circular motion and then leave it in for a few minutes before rinsing it out. I like to use a scalp massage brush to massage it into my scalp to really get in there and it's linked in my description. One thing to keep in mind is that ketoconazole can be a bit drying, so you may want to follow up with a moisturizing conditioner or hair mask to keep your locks looking their best and healthy and fresh. If you're using a topical solution, be sure to apply it only to the affected areas of your scalp and not to your entire head. Whenever I use it, I make sure not to get it in my hair 
and I rinse it out whilst holding the rest of my head so it doesn't touch the shampoo. Lastly, we've got to talk about the potential side effects. Hydroconazole is safe, well tolerated, but some people may experience dryness, itching, or irritation. If you notice any of these symptoms, make sure to speak to your doctor or dermatologist and stop using the product. They'll help you to determine whether ketoconazole is actually the right choice for you and if there's any recommended alternative treatments. While we've covered a ton on ketoconazole ground in this video, there are still a few more things to keep in mind. Firstly, ketoconazole can interact with some medications, so be sure to talk to your doctor or pharmacist before using it. Secondly, it's worth noting that ketoconazole isn't a magical cure all for hair loss. If you're not seeing the results you want, don't give up. There are other options out there like derma rollering or hair oiling. Be sure to check out my How To Beat Hair Loss playlist for more. And lastly, it's important to remember that hair health is much more than just topical treatments. Eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly, and managing stress all contribute to overall healthy hair growth and overall hair health. So if you're using ketoconazole for hair loss, don't forget to take a holistic approach to your hair care routine and if you're feeling overwhelmed or unsure about where to start, be sure to check out my playlist for more. I'd love to hear your experiences with ketoconazole, so let me know in the comments if you've been using it and if you've seen any results. Remember, healthy hair is within reach. You got this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.